more and stories. And only quarter stop with seconds on the clock is what secured the win tonight for the Thundering Herd in their 2023 home opener against Albany. The final 21 to 17. The second half was much different than the first. A complete shutout in that first half for the Herd. Then came out in the second half putting up those 21 points to walk away with the win. Let's hit those highlights. Marshall's entrance was a little different this year. We got some smoke and some fire along with a huge crowd turnout. The attendance tonight was 25,101. Now it was a sluggish first half on both sides. The Marshall defense held strong, racking up four sacks, and Owen Porter had two and a half tackles for loss, but the offense just could not get anything going. Cam Fancher went 14 of 20 for 122 yards, but it really didn't feel like that. The herd only got across midfield a few times. Albany then kicked a field goal with seconds left to make it 3-0 to zero at halftime. The Great Danes kept that momentum going in the second half, finding a guy wide open in the back of the end zone for the first touchdown of the game, making it 10-0 to zero five minutes into the third quarter. Marshall then responded in that very next drive. Cam Fancher with a toss to Charles Montgomery, and he finds the sideline for the Herd's first score, and this made it 10-7. to seven. Then 22, found the end zone twice, both on two huge breakout runs. Rashina Lee looks like that go-to guy once again as he gives Marshall their first lead of the game, 21-17. to Then, as I mentioned, with seconds left on the clock, Owen Porter came up with a big stop to save the win in his final home opener in the Joan. Head coach Charles Huff says this game is the best thing that could have happened to them because they had to battle back and fight through adversity, and they proved tonight they could do just that. It's the best thing that could happen to this football team. Um, we've been kind of getting our bats, backs padded on since um, Myrtle Beach. And every time you turn on Twitter, there goes Gilmore down the sideline versus Notre Dame and Bowl win and Cam's 5-1 and one as a starter. And, you know, this team is, you know, defensively ranked this and that. Um, that team's gone. And as good as we think we are, we can't live in the past. Um, the thing that's going to determine how good we are this season is not the talent. Um, we've got talent. I think you saw that in flashes. What we're going to, what's going to determine us how good we are is going to be our ability to stay focused, our ability to play penalty free, our ability to understand how to prepare, our ability not to be uh, controlled by the circumstances. You know, well, it's first game, it's you know, one double A school or whatever it may be. I'm was excited. I just knew once I slowed it down and just trusted big guys up front that it would eventually pop. Uh, whenever we were going out for the coin toss, we're like, man, feels a little different today. You know, <laughs> last first home game, we kind of we both said whenever we came out of the tunnel right before the team did, we were, you know kind of took it in a little bit more. Um, yeah, I mean, it was great to make the last play. As long as we got off the field, I was happy as could be. Obviously a very exciting way to kick off this 2023 Marshall football season. The Herd will now travel down to Greenville and face East Carolina next weekend. For now, from Huntington, I'm Cassidy Wood. Rachel, back to you.